Hi guys, I've been getting some requests for mousetrap powered cars. It must be that time of year that they're the new school project or something. And the, the one that I've been asked about has got to be under 200 grams. Well I've no idea how heavy my previous mousetrap powered cars were. But I was looking at this car. This is the one that I made tonight for a rubber band powered banana car and it's just a framework of barbecue skewers and the banana was taped in the middle there. Now I weighed the CDs and the bottle tops and the barbecue skewer axles and they come in at about 80 grams. The mouse trap is about 20 grams so, if I just put that on there, we'd be within the weight limit quite easily. 200 grams weight limit, that's going to be, well, 100 and something. But we do need to add a few bits to it. It would need a longer arm connected to the spring, so that we get a longer distance travelled by the string. And I was thinking I could remake this, get rid of that, I'll save the wheels and the hubs, but I'm thinking of gluing two barbecue skewers straight to the side of the mouse trap, and then using ordinary drinking straws for the axle tubes because on this one that's a fairly heavy piece of plastic there and we don't need the strength we just need a tube for the axles to go through so I'll glue an ordinary drinking straw to the front we'll do the same at the back drinking straw with a hole cut in the middle and a peg on the back axle to hook the string onto that goes to the mouse trap but because the glue I'm going to use takes a few hours to dry, I thought I'd glue these in place tonight before I go to bed. And then when I get up in the morning, there'll be a nice, good, strong joint. And then we can do the rest of the build tomorrow. Well, the glue seems to have set well. So my barbecue skewers are glued to the side of the mouse trap. I'll reuse these wheels again. So that's just CDs with milk bottle tops, hot glue to them, and we'll be using barbecue skewers for the axles. I need a couple of drinking straws. One for the back and one for the front. So we'll turn the hot glue gun on and fit the drinking straws. If you don't know how to make these, have a look in my video description and there's a link to a video on how to make them. I like these rather large drinking straws. pack of, uh, I've no idea how many was in the pack originally, but it cost me a pound, and there's loads of them. So I'll hot glue one straight on the front, in fact if we cut it in half that should be enough. This one's about ooh, eight and three quarter inches long, so if we cut it about four and three eighths, not that it particularly matters, but that will be plenty. Glue one right on the end there.
just about ready. That's the front axle. Let that cool down a bit. And we'll put the back axle on. You need to do something to try and make sure that they're parallel so that the car goes straight. dry a bit, cool down a bit first. I'll use my cutting board because that's got lines on it. It's just going to be out of camera shot down here. Let's move the camera. So say there's lines, you probably can't see them on the camera, but there is lines marked on the cutting board. So if I line the straw up with those lines, we got it straight. I'll put a small amount of hot glue on it to begin with. I'll let that cool down and then I'll put more all the way around it. Right, that's cooled down enough. So we'll put more hot glue. Nice little loop. all the way round and that'll help hold it on. And then we need to cut the centre out so that we can wrap the string around the axle. Right, hopefully that hot glue's cooled enough. So we now need to cut the centre out of the drinking straw so that when the axle goes through it, we can attach the string to there. And we can either hot glue a little piece of barbecue skewer to it like that, or I might get the box open use one of these cable ties just to make a little hook for us to connect the string to. But before we do that we need to attach another barbecue skewer to the arm of the mouse trap. So 
So I'm going to use some of those cable straps to tie it on and then add a bit of hot glue to hold them still. Just need something to hold it open. Then I'll add some cable straps. They're not particularly strong but I think they'll be just enough to do the job. Especially if I add hot glue. some hot glue on there and then I'll cut the ends off. Let that cool down, then I'll trim it. Right, that's cooled down. So we can trim them off. So that's our lever arm. Now we need to put the axle on. And we'll use another one of these to make the hook. way round do we want it? Might be better the other way round. You really want that on there pretty tight if you can.
So that just gives us something to hook the string onto. Need the other axle. Let's move the camera a little bit again. There we go. So many bits of barbecue skewer laying around. Make sure you've got a bit of clearance so it can slide backwards and forwards a little bit. So now we need to add some string. And the string I'm going to use is off an old kite. So it should be reasonably strong. don't know what the best sort of knot, knot is to use, so I'll just tie a knot and maybe put a little bit of hot glue on it to make sure it stays. say a little bit of hot glue. And then the length of the string has to be long enough to get to the back axle when the mouse trap is fully closed. So we need to make a loop about there somewhere. It's better for it to be a tiny bit short than a bit too long. If it's too long it'll get caught round the axle when it's undone. But if it's just a bit too short then that'll hook on there nicely. So that should do the job. We'll go and try it out. Cut off the excess. We're in my hallway. If we can get the car to go from where it is all the way through my kitchen and through my conservatory then it'll have done 10 metres which is the target for this particular project. So, we'll wind it up and try it out. Make sure our release lever's in the right place. Hook the string over that cable tie. That just holds it in place while we start winding it up. You want to try and keep the string in the middle as far as possible. You don't want it to go to the sides and foul the axle tubes or that will slow it down.
Right, a lot of these contests you need to use the release mechanism, so we'll do that. So, we'll let it go and I'll chase it with the camera. And if we get a reasonably straight run, we might manage 10 metres. Going off to the right a bit. Oh dear. Oh, just managed. And, as you can see from the position of the arm, we've still got quite a bit of string left on the back axle. So we will have gone quite a bit further. Although it does look like I've got it going off at a bit of an angle. So if straightness is important, you might have a trouble, bit of trouble with this design because it's very flexible. But we certainly managed 10 metres there. So, job done. Almost forgot to weigh it because we have to keep it under 200 grams. So, I'll just put glass on there and zero the scales again. means I can balance it on the glass. So there we are. All up weight. 118 grams. So that's pretty light.